Hey, welcome to Barbarak channel. Uh, today uh, we are continuing our journey uh, with the Super Screamer um, project. Uh, I did prepare something for today. This is we're gonna cover tone control. Uh, if you haven't uh, looked at previous videos, check them out if you want. Um, I in previous ones I covered a uh, few different things. Uh, I covered various clipping options. Um, uh, in this one, I covered actually this one I, I covered clipping options. The previous one I covered how to shape tone uh, in this clipping section, and uh, the third part. We're coming to this third part where I haven't uh, included so far any tone control, so uh, maybe the sound is not the the you know as refined as it could be. It's probably a bit harsh, uh, but anyway, uh, we're getting uh, close to the uh, finalizing this project. So let's get to it. Uh, what I prepare for today, and this um, diagram looks bigger and bigger, right? So uh, this was covered in first part, this was covered in second part, and now in third part, I added a stone control. And let me zoom in into this part. I, I, I literally just plug this in. So if you just remove this, this is where we left off uh, in the previous uh, part. So here, this tone section is um, quite different from uh, what the the, the, the normal uh, tube screamer uh, tone control is looking like. Uh, it's a bit uh, it's adapted version of uh, back sandal. I hope I got that right. Uh, tone control. This is only covering uh, higher frequencies, treble, if you will. Uh, I did add some um, uh, additional uh, parts here. I have this filter uh, at the beginning, something similar to what um, Tube Screamer and other clones have uh, coming into the tone control, but the, the, the circuit is different. So it will be slightly different. It gives us better uh, control uh, over tone with linear pots. The other one had uh, a different taper, which, you, you know, I I have loads of linear uh, pots and I kind of am not a great fan of uh, the other ones, but, uh, you know, something uh, to try out. I did try out uh, several different versions, different uh, options while I was preparing this. I added another filter here to just tame some uh, higher... Uh, frequency, harmonics, you know. Uh, I think I got the sound pretty close to Tube Screamer itself, you know, with, as I said, a bit more control using uh, Linear Pot. I think I got it nearly 90% uh, of the uh, travel of the pot uh, to sound really, really close or even the same. Uh, we, we've been through that, you know, uh, uh, pot differences and tolerance differences of different controls. I'm, I'm not going to go in, into that. Uh, now, you know, you might feel it's slightly different. Again, this is uh, why we do DIY things to try different things and try our own takes on this. So anyway, you'll hear a bit later how that sounds. Uh, I added this switch here. So uh, in on position, it, it's pretty similar to Tube Screamer and uh, and Super Overdrive uh, SD1. Uh, when it's off or disconnected, it gives a bit of a treble boost. Not entirely unlike uh, Range Master style, but you know, again, it doesn't sound exactly like that. Uh, uh, more in 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 style and and uh, I don't know. Uh, 
rather than in sound maybe from range master but again it's it's kind of a the idea is here to to add to do to control what uh, tube screamer um, tone section controls uh, I'm gonna breadboard this this looks terrible like a, a rat's nest of uh, uh, all of these wires I move this tone control to a separate small breadboard uh, you'll see that in video I, at this stage you know it's a bit I'm, I'm not using um, switch as you can see I'm just gonna plug and unplug uh, this um, wire here everything else is the same um, I'll try out uh, some sound later on uh, during demonstration um, there's no point in me going through this it's, it's really I, I just added this uh, section here and rewired output uh, it's getting a bit complex isn't it uh, in terms of you know like frequency response you know the best is to hear the effect and see if you like it or not rather than uh, try to get too much out of uh, these uh, diagrams but they're uh, what did it do? Okay. All right. So if, if you can see that when I quickly flick, there is a slight difference in uh, response. The, the the circuits are very different, so it is very hard to get this to match exactly. Uh, in terms of sound, it will be very negligible sound difference for most of the part except in the extremes uh, just because we are talking about in the middle here less than one db difference for for vast majority of, of these frequencies when it goes over certain frequent frequencies there might be a bit more deviation but we, we wouldn't really hear that uh, especially not if you're listening uh, through a guitar amp uh, and you know SD1, it's very nearly the same. Uh, again, uh, we are talking about very small differences. So I expect it, and actually I tried it out uh, uh, while I was uh, uh, trying to get the values just right uh, to match it as much as possible with Tube Screamer. Um, but uh, the other one is uh, uh, option where I have. Uh, kind of a travel booster it will be way brighter and you'll hear this uh, in a moment uh, just kind of a giving another option uh, back in the day you know like uh, uh, likes of uh, Eric Clapton and Rory Gallagher and uh, they, they all use range mask for example into their box and martial amps to, to uh, brighten up the sound so you know who knows this might be uh, useful uh, down the line. So, without further ado, let's get into the demo.
Hopefully, that did not sound too bad. Uh, I used Looper just to help me out with uh, fiddling there with uh, controls. Uh, there's, you know, quite a wide range of sounds that uh, I got out of it. Sounded pretty good. We'll see what other options uh, I can add to this circuit before I complete the design. Now, I might decide. Uh, as I go along to maybe change some of these component values, maybe not. We'll see in a few weeks. But until then, I, I, I have a pretty good idea of what else I'll be adding to this circuit, so stay tuned. <laughs> 